Hello YouTube, welcome to Text You Can't Live Without. When it comes to getting high-speed internet nothing beats investing in a solid wireless or router. Regardless of whether you're looking for the budget wireless routers, or just want to have the best wireless router that money can buy, you came to the right place. Before getting started, I'd like to say that this list is based on my personal opinion, research and the test experiences of the actual owners. Thus, make sure to check the pros and cons section towards the end of the video. So, without further ado, let's get started with The N600DB is passable as a wireless router. While a lifetime warranty is incredibly appealing, the wireless performance is trounced by devices that are in the same price bracket. The N600DB takes the standard approach, four 100 megabits Ethernet ports, and a USB port that can manage either printing or storage. A 100 megabits WAN port sits at the top, which should suit most needs, unless you happen to be a rather lucky internet subscriber. Just like most routers that detect internet access, the N600DB is a little stupid, if you've hooked up your net connection by LAN instead of WAN, rather than testing access, it just assumes that there's no net connection at all. This doesn't affect much, only online firmware checks, but it's such a simple thing, and many router manufacturers miss it. The N600DB is an ADSL wireless router designed for high throughput tasks such as, according to Belkin, streaming video. The router has what Belkin calls multi-beam technology, this is similar to the smart beam technology found in the D-Link DIR 645 router, where it can focus energy to connected devices to improve throughput. It's also dual band, so compatible devices can connect to the router over the less congested 5 GHz band to avoid interference. Setup is beautifully simple, and can be done over a wireless connection, so you don't have to move your PC near the router. Once you've plugged the router into your ads line, the setup CD takes you through finding and connecting to the router from your PC with an encrypted wireless connection, before it tests your ads line, and asks for your broadband username and password. The only strange part was when it asked for VPI and VCI numbers, which we've never been asked for when setting up an ads router, but the usual 0 and 38 worked fine. We were up and running connected to an ads line with a secure wireless connection just 10 minutes after we plugged in the router, which is impressive. Belkin's N600DB has it all, good looks, easy setup, extremely fast speeds and powerful features. It's also great value, so is a great buy if you're after a high-end Edsel router. The TP-Link N450 wireless Wi-Fi router may not be very expensive, but that doesn't deter it from strong performance, and a good feature set. Its 2.4 GHz throughput scores well better than similarly priced models, including the Netgear N300 router. With the TP-Link N450 wireless Wi-Fi router, you get single-band Wi-Fi, fairly good throughput, and a set of management settings, including access control, and remote management. If you need a small, affordable business slash home router, you should seriously start here. The N450 is small than most mid-range routers, its black glassy enclosure measures 1.1 by 7.87 by 5.51, and has three external antennas. The antennas aren't user removable, meaning, you can't replace them if one breaks, or you want to add a more powerful antennae. Installing the N450 is very simple. All you do is, connect it to a PC, and an internet source, the router will automatically launch the web-based settings, through which you can configure your network, adjust the Wi-Fi settings, and set a router password. Once configured, I was ready to go, took less than 5 minutes. 74 megabits per second is much faster than you get from most budget routers. It is in the same ball pack with the Netgear R6220, that yields 73.2 megabits per second on the same test. Testing over a radius of 30 feet it yielded 42.5 megabits per second. The TP-Link N450 is a reliable wireless Wi-Fi router, and has officially become an indisputable fact that, this Wi-Fi router is essential in the home, 
or offices. Over the years, there has been an increase in the demand and use of gadgets like smartphones, tablets, streaming boxes, etc. You need a stable and robust internet connection to play games, stream HD videos online, manage your online businesses, and manage multiple social media account without failing your clients and simply for your peace of mind with a safe and reliable internet connection. The TP-Link N450 will help you achieve just that and more. It's a fantastic router, hands down. We would recommend this router to anyone who has been frustrated by slow wireless speeds, or dead zones in their house. Setup was painless, and the thing seems designed to handle the demands of multiple devices trying to simultaneously stream video, and play online games. Netgear 6700 South African Rand is a large router, that packs a 1GHC dual-core processor, that's designed for large homes. It is a mid-range router and supports up to 450 megabits per second on the 2.4 GHC frequency band, and up to 1300 megabits per second on the 5 GHC frequency band. It measures 11.22 by 7.26 by 1.97, and weighs a little over 1.6 pounds. The R6700 is part of the Nighthawk series, and uses the same housing design as its bigger brother, R7000. The R6700 is very sturdy and it has it as a wide base with rubber feet, so it won't slip, and slide all over a surface. Netgear's Nighthawk routers can be wall-mounted if space is limited. The R6400 comes with the same Broadcom Dual Core 800 MHC processor. The R6700 stays relatively cool thanks to the ventilation holes on the back, and the sides. The BCM4708 soak in the R6400 is plenty fast and you won't have any issues with it so the bump to the BCM4709 and the R6700 should offer a nice little boost in performance. Overall, it's pretty easy to set up, so even if you are someone with no prior experience in setting up routers, the R6700 makes it easy to set everything up. If you're in the market for a new router, or maybe you just need more than your current router can provide, the R6700 might be what you need. The R6700 has very good storage, and NAS performance in the 5G HC throughput is good for a router in that price range. The 6700 South African Rand is a decent mid-range 802.11 acres router, it is on the expensive side since you can get an TP-Link Archer C9 for around $110, that outperforms the R6700. With all that being said, the R6700 isn't the fastest 802.11 acres router out there but it provides great 5GHC speeds and NAS storage performance.